This video will look at an alternative method to adding a roof, this being the Roof Generator tool, which is an ideal tool for those wishing to produce more complicated roof structures without the need for manual editing. As with the other roof method, it is best to be in the Architectural Roof Modeling pair. To add the sketch roof itself, go to the Roofs menu in the Modeling tab and go to Roof Generator. Again, there is an option for defining overhangs and roof types from the right-click contextual menu, as well as options for different methods for adding the eave line. For this example, pick the Add by Lines command and then click the Trust button to set up the parameters for this roof. The parameters are the same for the roof generator as the traditional method, however, there are also parameters under Special Roofs tab for adding in mansard and barn hip end roofs. First, select the material code that will allow you to select a roof type from the pre existing library. This will automatically change the top code field. Next, the pitch can be altered, making sure that the value entered has a capital A suffix. Fascia height can also be changed to suit. Next we can define the various height and overhang parameters. The first will be the top plate height that the roof will sit on. Either type this value in manually if known, or simply click the Get button to choose either from the 3D or 2D models. It is easier to select from the 3D. Now simply choose the wall and the plate height field will change accordingly. Next we have a set of three values that need two defining before choosing the Calculate button on the third to define that value. This is based on all the parameters for this roof. For instance, if an overhanged value is defined here, and then an of the wall height value defined here, then press calculate next to the eave height to obtain the correct value. Once defined is required, click OK to begin adding the eave line. With the add by lines command, the eave line for the sketch roof can quickly be added just by clicking the line on the walls, and continue to click around the building in a clockwise direction, then confirm once defined. A sketch roof will then be added, however it is best to edit the gables in 2D, noting that you cannot edit the sketch roof without using commands from the roof generator contextual options. These are accessed by first selecting the sketch roof, then by left clicking the grip point you can move the eave line of the roof. Whilst right clicking one of the grip points allows you to control the gable type or add in hip, mansard or dutch ends to the sketch roof based on the previously defined parameters. There is also a command for removing gables altogether. For example, this sketch roof could be converted to gable ends by first using the remove gable command on this edge here, then using the gable command on these two edges. The last step is then to convert the sketch roof into actual roof slopes by selecting the sketch roof, right clicking and convert surfaces to roof, noting that once done it is not possible to add or remove gables. This concludes our video on the roof generator. Thank you for watching.